today we're going to talk about pain. There are many, many people who will not make any change in their life until the pain becomes such a problem that they're forced to change. There's a, there's a group of people who can say, Hey, I need to make change. I'm going to start facilitating change. I'm going to do that. The majority of people need to be in a point of pain. They need to be in a point of failure. It's um, a strange situation when you have people who want success, but the pain threshold isn't great enough for them to make a change. And as long as you are doing okay, as long as you're happy, um, pretty much a lot of things just will not promote you to move forward to um, make these changes. Like the video I did yesterday, uh, it was a great response. A lot of people got into courses and for you folks, go through the courses three to five times. Just don't go through it once, go through it several times and put in the work. This will help you greatly be more successful. Uh, there was also a question about, are there any reviews? <laughs> Uh, this must be a new person. The reviews usually are coming on the live streams. Uh, there's a ton of people out there and what I can do, cause I don't typically ask for straight up reviews. I just don't. Typically, this is what happens. You'll get someone uh, like Lamar Dasher. Thank you, brother, for the five checking account system. I got credit line and people around me never even heard of you. Your info is priceless. This is how the reviews come in. I don't ask for reviews. I don't manufacture reviews. I'll just let them come in. Um, Victor Van Zenzi, Glendon, I'm following you for about a year. I love how you teach. I purchased some of your courses. I've been doing great selling on Craigslist, but it's a hard grind. Thanks for your awesome work. So, uh, here's Ashton Richardson. I uh, applied your dream girl system to what I look for in clients, man, it work wonders. It's way less frustrating attracting the people I want to work with. Thank you. Super chat. Been on the channel since 2016 and from your free to pay courses, you've increased my life, my game and my business. Thank you, G. Ernest Dotson, you have changed my life. Thank you. I followed you for a while because of you. I've renewed my interest in dream of owning my own business and got the cobwebs and negativity away from me. I will be buying this and other courses pertaining to my interest in basic knowledge. So, uh, Nathan Harris, gee, thanks again. Just dropped off my corporate filings. My accountant explained to me this year, most people won't be able to get deductions unless they set up as a business. You were right on time and saved me thousands. Salute. Uh, Mark, you know, Glenn, I've been buying your courses and watching YouTube videos. Some of your courses really changed my life at various precarious times. I always like how you break it down for the regular person. All right, this is me leaving someone a comment. Uh, 
real talk, Linda, and I didn't want to step my game up because I was scared of criticism and I didn't want to add it responsibility. But I was quick to rag on people who did step up and stick their necks out. <laughs> Hey, Glendon, uh, I want to reach out and thank you for your help and your YouTube videos to provide me. I was one of the guys a year ago who decided to start an Amazon FBA business. When looking up LS structure, I was stumbling across your channel, listen to you all day and applied your tactics of my business. I would not have the success I have today without your guidance. I'm slowly working on building my brand off of Amazon into two or three years to be able to quit my job and live the life I want. Thank you. This is Keith Hardiman. And uh, this is Arden Bolden uh, sharing some of my requests from January only. There's so much to do. Uh, dude is saving a G a month, doesn't have any debt, lives on his own, doesn't have a car payment. Uh, this is Chris. I like this comment because when you live your entire life without accountability, you won't be able to develop responsibility. All right, this is disruptive male stuff. But I've been grabbing some of the reviews because there's a lot of people who want reviews. And let me just be really clear about how I handle reviews. I don't ask for them. I don't solicit them. Because one of the things that happens with a lot of online businesses is they will take someone who is like the best student and use that as a review versus uh, taking an average student. And then you're kind of sucked into a situation where you're thinking that those results will be applicable to you when you're not like that student. That's one of the reasons I don't do a lot of reviews. That's why I let them come in naturally. But there you go. There's some reviews for, for, for some folks who need them. All right. Failure is a very important part of success. And you have got to be able to take some setbacks and make some adjustments. I was watching this uh, video of this kid who does Shopify and he's run he's running a seven figure store at 19 years old, but listening to he had setback, he had setback, he had failure after failure after failure after failure. And he just kept plugging. And there are many people who will not go through the process of having all of these failures because it sucks. It's hard. It is demoralizing. But this is the path you must go through into developing yourself into a person of value. The other day, I put up a video talking about um, how to become a free person. And one of the things you got to do and a free person is someone who makes their money online and doesn't have a traditional job. One of the things you have to do is to go through this failure process, which many people just don't want to do. They just don't want to do it. I saw in the comments <clears throat> the other day how someone had did something and got a result and they were like, oh, this is real. This is one of the biggest things that is a problem for many people because it's so different. And as time goes on, it won't be different. I mean, there are many people who have all of their friends or make money online. Their friends have YouTube channels, Instagram accounts, so Shopify stores. It is very much a part of their click for everybody to make money online. And right now, these are the best times to try to start a business to make money online. Right now, this is the best time to do that because there are so many people who just don't believe and one of the reasons that you see all of these kids who are building these 
million dollar businesses is they don't know that this isn't possible. They, they really just don't know. They have no clue that this isn't possible. And if you start to learn how the internet works and become an architect of the internet, then you can start to make money. Now, there's a few things that, you know, I'm going to bring up. I think everyone needs to get the money management, the basics of finance and wealth and development course. This will teach you about the five checking account system, which is very pivotal. Then this will get you off into these courses. Let's go to YouTube. Today we're going to talk. All right. This was yesterday's video. Once again, all of the courses are under the videos or will be under this video. So here it is. Now you should start off with the cheaper courses and actually get some of your failure points out of the way. I was listening to this guy who from the age of 17 to 19 created a multi-million dollar business because he actually, you know, one of the things you should do is get some experience in something. This is a big, big part of success, getting experience, not watching YouTube videos, not playing around on Facebook all day, but getting actual experience in doing something like the uh, Craigslist system that I used for, wow, 15, 16 years. It took me 90 days of very hard work to get that thing fit, fit, you know, together. And it took a lot of failure. It took a lot of writing a ton of ads, but that has served me for 16, 18 years. Uh, also, one of the things you should do is because we're going to talk about money in the five checking accounts you should go ahead and get this is how to set your life up where this time next year, you don't have these money problems. You don't have this situation <clears throat> of not being able to do something because this guy roughly in two years, from scratch, learn how to put together a Shopify store. I want you to ask yourself, where would you be two years from now if you got really, really busy working on something? If you got super involved in learning how to make money online? Newsflash, Kindle self-publishing still makes a lot of money for a lot of people. I have friends who are getting anywhere from 10 to $80,000 per month from Kindle. But it didn't start immediately. It started with one book, then they wrote another book, then they wrote another book, then they wrote another book, and they wrote another book, and they wrote another book, and they wrote another book. And this was a process that took years. It didn't happen in a week or a few days. It took years. I got one friend he does about 80. He was writing a full novel every month. He did this for about six years. So he has a ton of, uh, let me see. Cause actually I had him on the show a while ago. 
All right. Let's see, how many books does Russell have? Let's see. He wrote one of these books every month for like, you know, five or six years before he took a brook. He started to slow down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, two and one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Well, that looks like the same book. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. And um, let's go here because, you know, you, you don't really hear anyone talking about Amazon because there was this rush of people who were not writers who got into it. All right, so some of his books have sold very well. And there, there's still a lot of money that can be made from Kindle. But you just got to build up the inventory. And this, this is one of the things that people don't look at it. Because, you know, like I said, Russell gets like, you know, 80K a month from Kindle. But many people just kind of look at the 80K and it's like, that's now. And they don't really look at the journey. They don't look at um, the process of day after day of failing, putting forward effort, making a ton of money and building something, you know, I, I want you to look at like building your business is like building a house. First of all, you got to lay down the foundation. And you ever notice that when they're building a house, laying down the foundation is the most time consuming aspect. Because once the foundation is laid, the, the walls go up, the roof goes on, it, go, it moves very quickly after the foundation is built. Failure is part of the foundation that you guys need to build. And the sooner you get started, the sooner that you will see results. Because I'm telling you, the things that are going to be possible going forward are just going to be astounding for those who are prepping for it, who are building themselves up to be ready for these opportunities uh, like Facebook if you can do Facebook ads for your business and you can do them well that's a million dollars a year if you can do YouTube ads well that's another million bucks a year if you can do Instagram ads that's more money per year there's so many things that people are not really uh, familiar with. They don't understand. And they they just, I guess the pain in their life, you know, this fight of your life, because the greatest fight of your life is you against yourself, you against your propensities, you against your um, habits. That's where the biggest problem happens. So 
All right, this is what I want you to do. I want you guys to start getting busy. I want you to go through the courses, figure out what works for you and get busy going out here and trying some stuff because once you build these skill sets, no one can ever take them away from you. No one can ever say, all right, like, you know, like the Craigslist protocols, no one can ever take that, those skill sets away from me. No one that could ever take those experiences away from me. And it was something that came during a very hard time because the first Craigslist protocol came after eBay suspended our account and we had to get busy. I mean, it was a very painful time in my life because, you know, eBay was responsible for 68% of our profits and it just disappeared overnight. And that's why, you know, I've, been so on you guys about you know if you do amazon fba make sure it's not your main thing you know doing amazon fba as part of a greater strategy you know i would rather see you guys have amazon fba some shopify stores a youtube channel have a whole collection of revenue streams versus just um doing what a lot of amazon fba sellers have done that that is their main enchilada and then when amazon screwed them then they were on the forum talking about amazon has changed because i saw this conversation the other day it was talking about how hard amazon has become remember my no ebay no amazon videos just put no ebay no amazon more money in the youtube search bar and you'll see these collection of videos that i made years ago saying what was going to happen a lot of folks didn't want to listen to Uncle G and they paid the price because they're crying in their milk right now because a lot of these folks got rooted off Amazon. And they could not get back on. Once again, you should not just have this one revenue stream. This is this is this is a lot of pain that people are going through. I know a guy who. He had probably the largest CD dvd uh, id on amazon and his name's kevin Harmon, i believe Harmon. i don't think i don't think he's still Uh, he got caught up in some stuff. I remember we were in a group. You know, uh, go ahead and look up Kevin Harmon. And uh, once they took this, uh, he went to consulting on how to sell on Amazon. No, I don't think that's him. So there, there's a lot of stuff in here that if you are interested in doing the research, you will see because I mean, like I know a lot of people, you know, if you are a real writer, you like creating books and you go ahead and you get yourself, um, between 15 and 25 on Amazon and you write a decent product that could be five to $7,000 a month or more, depending on what you're writing in a lot of people. Cause you know, when everybody was doing the Amazon uh, Kindle programs, I stayed away from it because I knew that it was not long-term sustainable. 
you know, writing is a very hard thing to do. And if you're going to have people write books for you, I'm going to, I'm going to see if this is, you know, I'm going to see if this still is up here. There was this guy. He wrote this book about push-ups. No. Uh, nope. Uh, I can't find it anymore. But he wrote this book about push-ups. And he had like a collection and I think he was getting something like six or seven thousand dollars a month from three or four books. But I can't seem to find it anymore. And this is something else too. Um I got some of my books are still selling. And this, this is what really happened. You know, we could talk about um, why I stopped putting my products on Amazon. Um, one of the things that I learned from being part of a technician is that Amazon can be great for exposure, but not necessarily for money. And I stopped putting my products on Amazon and I started self hosting and selling my products and my money went up four and five times. You know, you can have a book on Amazon that can do well, but Amazon's going to get a big chunk of that book. However, if you go back to what my, my dude's doing, he has so many books that it doesn't really matter. You know, Amazon still gets their chunk, but he gets a lot of money out of this. And also, you know, just to, if you go ahead and start writing books in the future, um, Walking Dead graphic novel. Walking Dead started off as a graphic novel and it became a show. So you, you have a lot of opportunities as a creator by creating books and stuff. So once again, you know, if you um, go here and take some chances and take a few shots, things can really work out in your favor. And you know, you just need a little taste because I was listening to this guy and he had went through about four or five different things before he was like, oh, this, this works. So go ahead and get your money management, the basics of finance and wealth development course. Then go here, check out these courses, what you need. Cause the, the thing is you got to get started. You got to get started. You, you got to get started on something. So maybe the pain that is in your life is at a point where it's going to spur you to take action. Because once you start taking action, once you start getting some results, then things really, really get much better for you. So that's all I got for you guys today. I will see you in the next video.